Hey guys, my name is Thomas and this is my first unboxing video. And I am doing it because I have something that I'm very excited about in this box and not everyone has access to it. So if my math is correct, because I did order this online, and to be fair, I uh, order a lot of things online when I am drunk, uh, you know, not my best quality as a human being, but it happens. Um, and what should be in here is the deluxe edition of Billy Corgan or William Patrick Corgan's new album, Cotillions. Now, this this was sold on November 22nd, so just last year, that was the day that the album came out, and he did a special sale on his website for Madame Zuzu's, which is a tea shop that he used to own in Highland, or Highland Park, outside of Chicago, and there is a second one opening up. So this was kind of a premiere sale for that shop. So inside this box should be that album. Now, there are only 1,000 printed, and all of them are numbered and signed by Billy Corgan himself. So they all sold out in that day, 1,000 in the entire world. And I know that not everyone that wants one is going to have one. So I wanna share that excitement of which I have for opening this package so that maybe other people can experience it too if they don't have that chance. So this is Cotillions, which is the follow-up solo album to Billy Corgan's previous solo album, OG Lala, which is honestly probably one of the best albums in the entire world. This man is a freaking genius. Now, if you have not listened to Cotillions, uh, it is pretty much available everywhere. It has sort of a bluegrass country acoustic sound, uh, 17 tracks. He wrote it over a year that he was traveling across America. Um, you know, the Smashing Pumpkins are known for their big hits like Zero, Bullet with Butterfly Wings, 1979. But if you are a Pumpkins fan or a Billy Corgan fan, you know that those songs are not representative of the catalog of music that they have available. Um, and honestly, those songs were 25 years ago. So if you are not over them yet, I don't know what to tell you. Yes, they were great songs, but not, you know, he's not gonna keep doing the same stuff. No artist stays exactly the same for 25 years. And if they did, they would be boring as fuck. So uh, let's go ahead and open this package and see what it all looks like. So as you can see, this is a pretty average size box. It's a little bit thicker if you're used to getting vinyl in the mail. So this did get damaged in shipping. I've kind of peeked inside here. It doesn't look like there was any damage to the inside. We'll see what happened. I've ordered stuff from Madame Zuzu's before and not had an issue with it. So I'm kind of anticipating that what's inside, it's going to be fine. Um, you can see the address here for Highland Park. Um, oh, there's a cute little note. Thank you, love Zuzu. Um, Okay, so let's pop this baby open and see what's going on. Okay, so I got the box open. I actually forgot that I had ordered these as well, but they are some artisan soap that has a CBD oil in it. Um, and you know what? It just sounded good at the time. So I got a couple of those. So this probably would not come with every package unless you ordered them extra. Um, so everything should be in here. Looks undamaged. So the box must not make a big deal. Only that was damaged. So if your box comes damaged, it should be fine inside. So let's get this open. Okay. So this is the front, as you see, William Patrick Corgan, Cotillions, his signature, uh, number 132 out of 1,000. Uh, really nice paper. It's that type of uh, paper cardboard that almost feels like it is uh, leather. So that's awesome. Um, backside, totally blank. I'm gonna set that over here. We can let's prop that up a little bit. Okay, so William Patrick Corgan presents Cotillions. Oh, awesome. So this is what looks to be all of the lyrics for all of the songs on the album. So this is pretty cool. I actually was not expecting this, so this is awesome. Um, Side note, my favorite song is Like Lambs, which is towards the end of the album. Uh, to where Life is easy if you know who you are. So love that album. 
or I love that song on the album. Um, so yeah, this is a basic lyric book. I'll post some photos of it too. Then we get to the prints. Now I'm gonna look on the album to see who the artist is because I forget. So this is the first print. This is the second. So these are great quality, nice. Uh, oh, mm, can't really tell. No, I think it is all printed on the same page. So it's printed on the page. It's not a portrait that's then on the page. This is the other one, third one. And then there is one more. So far, loving it. Very impressed. This quality is great. Totally worth the $125. Honestly, having an album that is, you know, one print of a thousand that is by one of the best artists in the universe, arguably one of the best guitar players of our entire lives, um, signed and numbered by him, like pretty fucking cool for 125 bucks. Okay, then now this should be the actual vinyl. So I'm going to dump it out there. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Nice little, the inside is red. So that's an awesome detail. Okay, so this is the cover indented leather or lettering. Nice. Okay, there's a little bit of damage across the top. So that is, you know, not awesome, but also fine and happens with vinyls all the time. So that's kind of to be expected. Uh, this is the back. So again, one of these beautiful images. Where does it say? So Martha's Music. So that is the uh, his record label. I'm going to look for the artist inside. Okay. So inside here. And then let's see, uh, oh, Jenna Farida, F-A-R-I-D-A. So that's who did the photography. Uh, let's take a look at the actual vinyls. So from what I've seen online, the vinyls are supposed to be insanely beautiful. So this is the casing for the first vinyl, I guess the sleeve. Uh, so again, this image that's, that's very similar to the front and the back. And then let's take the vinyl out here. Uh, gorgeous. So red and black um, sort of marble vinyl that's showing up well. So that is side A and side B. And this is the second one. So this is the uh, the sleeve for this one. The back being the same as the first. Let's take a look at this vinyl. Not sure if it's the same or different. Okay, so again, a uh, red and black marble vinyl. And uh, you can get the vinyl in stores that's not the deluxe edition that doesn't come with the bonuses. And I believe that one is silver uh, or gray and black. So. And on this one, the labels are silver as opposed to black. So gorgeous vinyl set, amazing packaging, uh, totally worth the $125. So I'm sure that these are going to be popping up on the internet for you to buy other places if you were not able to get it from Madame Zuzu's when it went on sale. Um, but I would definitely recommend trying to get your hands on a copy of this if you can. So leave me some feedback below, guys. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, and let me know how much you are enjoying the album. I'm going to put some links below for where you can find all of that stuff. Um, and I'll see you next time.